And within Asia, I think China is getting a bit more attention, which we are starting to like. Mm, okay. So you like China? Yeah, so I think there's two ways to express it. One is through the currency and one is through fixed income. So holding something like CNH versus dollar, it gets one of the highest yield right now in Asia, higher than India, higher than Indonesia. Right? We think that's very attractive. Yeah. And also on the fixed income side, we like holding Chinese government bonds, the CNH bonds, 10 years. Yeah. And then if you're worried about the U.S., then you, hold the, you short the U.S. 10 year because the spread is pretty wide, around 220 basis points right now. Okay, all right, so, so you buy the CNH government bonds and you sell the U.S. 10-year? Yes, that's right. If you uh -huh. believe in China growth and you don't believe in U.S. growth? Yeah, that the U.S., that spread has widened quite a bit. We think China risk is uh, overpriced right now. Right, okay, well, why is that? Because, I mean, you're still seeing issues with the banks, you're still seeing issues with debt levels, you're still seeing a housing market that could well implode. Yes, you're right. So I think the recent measures that's been passed to kind of slow down the wealth management products, the financial markets, but I think there are measures to cool the market and not really to crush the market. And so I think the markets have moved recently to price in another risk of a hard landing or a tighter monetary policy. And I think that's just gone too far.